We scared a chicken in it. <laughs> Good morning, modern steaders. Draining out again this morning, but it's a nice, light, gentle rain. We haven't been getting any of those at all this year here. It's usually downpours. So I'll take the nice little gentle rain. That'll help the grass grow. I wonder how all the animals are doing since last night. Let's go check on them. Sausage. Lynx. You girls gonna let me get in there without getting me all dirty? Probably not, huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. Look, you're slobbering out of your mouth. Oh. You girls are crazy. Mama and the three chicks. One, two, and there's the third one in the back is doing well. I guess she didn't like the feet are standing up. These turkeys are eating a ton. They're almost eating as much feed as the chickens in New York City are. In yesterday's video, we were doing the chores last night, and right over there, there were eyeballs staring at us in the dark. And the whole time we were out there, they didn't move. It's kind of getting a little creeped out. So after I went inside and signed off, I drove my truck over there, and I forgot to take the camera. You know what it was? It was a cat. I think Figaro must have a friend. He's been playing outside all night long lately, except for last night. And I think his buddy was waiting for him. Speaking of Figaro. I was afraid we had a raccoon or a fox or something that was just kept eyeballing me and didn't care that I was right there. Morning, Moose. Well, I might have spoke too soon about that light rain. It's coming down pretty good right now. I need to go inside, get a hat, so we can go back out and take care of the goats. This is crazy. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear we live in a rainforest this year. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna come out. No, look, you're like, oh no, it's a few raindrops. We're gonna get wet. What's the matter, Buttercup? <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You don't like the rain? You either? <laughs> you better now that Mom's out with you. Ouch. That'd give me a headache. I think the chipmunk warned him. Comes the foreman.
So we're gonna let the barred rocks out up here for a little while. <laughs> well, we wanna take Andy and bring him to New York City. We're gonna get out. gonna get out. Yeah, how are you? I'm not holding them. Pluto, you leave him alone. Crazy here, Andy don't care. She don't care. What do you think, Andy? You gonna go hang out in New York City? All right, don't let Moose pick on you too much. I don't know where Moose is. The plan is, is to keep just the chicks that are in New York City now. We're gonna be giving away the Bard Rock chicken flock, and then we have another some friends that are gonna be taking the Icelandic rooster and chick that we have. It'll be interesting to see the personalities of Moose and Andy together. Come on out. Stay inside the fence though. Quit your drooling. It's an adventurous walk to get to the table. Not a bad view for lunch. Yeah, I took a lot of You did. Bringing you here now, you're gonna get ideas. You want all these fancy flowers and everything. You did. Oh man, we gotta go home. I see the big old red peppers. Those are some big old rhubarb plants. They're huge. Those are some nice tomatoes. Look how they're grown. They look like artwork. It's a nice view. More rhubarb. The girls like all the pretty flowers. Oh, now they got ideas going around in their head. I think we'll have more projects to do now. Does that feel good? Yes. Crazy. I get the cool air and they get the hot air. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. There the cow is hiding.
Last time we came here, Gina wanted some dipping cheese, but we didn't have a cooler. So we had to come back. That's an odd looking duck. Okay, so I am headed to go check on mom and the goats, but we have to be quiet. I see some goats, but I don't see a mama. Oh. Well, right now it looks to me like she's not in the goat pen. Hey, have you girls seen mom? Hmm, let's go check over here. That seems to that seems to be where Pluto's going. Hi piggies! Some good worms in here. What's that? Yeah. I think you got all the potatoes out though. Got a good little harvest of potatoes out of that small area. Ooh, the corn from the farm today. Looks good. There you go. That's it. That's it. Looks like we got a nice thunderstorm rolling in. One looks and smells good. Is that actually pork now, right? Meatloaf with ground pork from our piggies. Oh. Yep, here's the rain. Man. That's hot. We said every night. It's hot. It's hot. Maybe you can be patient. Maybe. What? I don't know if you can see it, but we got a rainbow right there. That's pretty cool, huh, Livies? Yeah. Oh, it's nice and cool rain, too. Uh, it's still there, but I think it's going away because the rain's coming back even more. We scared a chicken and it <laughs> pooped out a soft shell egg. There's no shell on it. <sighs> you made it come out early. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> you want the egg? It's warm and it feels like a bouncy ball. Throw it into the chickens, they'll eat it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we ate so much we can barely walk. Don't fall down that hill, Libby's. You piggies want a snack? Apparently the dog didn't eat as much as he did. What's that? I said apparently the dog didn't eat as much as he did. Why? Because she can still move and run around? Run around the pool. I bet you're going to like it. They didn't seem to care for the They're kind of picky when it comes to the husk. They will eat them. 
only if they have no other options. That's what I was looking like when I was eating the corn. That's why I didn't put it on video. Yeah. Now the chickens and everybody are coming over for some corn. Uh, well, thanks guys for watching. We had a fun time today going to the farm, mm -hmm. getting new ideas for our farm, and getting some good food. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lama Acres. A guide, Martin Homesteading, Best Resiliency, and Freedom. Bye. Bye.